Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on reservoir modeling and simulation using Petrel software. So we are now inside the Petrel. We go to paints and first we need to show the processes. Okay, and then go to utilities. First, we want to make polygon. The polygon will will be set to to control the, the 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 boundary or the shape of our reservoir and let's say we want to make a radial reservoir or from 2d perspective we want to make a circular reservoir so the shape is circle this is the default setting but if you open the drop down menu you can also construct a rectangular shape we go to side circle and points, the default is 16. Okay, if we increase the number of the points, the shape will be smoother. Okay, let's say I want to change it to, for example, 50. Okay, and the radius of the reservoir is 500 meters. Okay, 500 meters. And then let's say the origin z origin is minus 1000 and then we can click run and we have new polygon with circular shape so click apply and click ok now we want to show the window okay or here window show the 3d and 2d and here in window we can open the drop down menu and then enable the auto height okay so we have input three processes three and also windows three okay if we take this polygon it will be like this okay with 50 points, we can also here and then show the axis. So the the radius is 500 meters, okay, from zero to 500 to the east, west, south, and north. Okay, and then from here go to the utilities again under the processes. We then we will make grid double click grid double click and we will create new grid i will call my model radial okay and input data skeleton only with top limit at minus 1000 depth and base limit for example i want to make reservoir with thickness of 30 meters so the base limit will be at minus 1030 Okay, and then we can also call the polygon to be the boundary. Okay, so the boundary of our grid of our reservoir will be based on the polygon, the circular shape. Okay, and then go to geometry. We change the X, Y minimum and the maximum. Minus 500 for Y minimum minus one 500 as well x maximum 500 and then the y maximum 500 so the width and the height of the reservoir will be 1000 meters or one kilometer and the grid increment for x and y 50 so the the area of each grid will be 50 times 50 meters okay so click apply okay and then click okay so we can go to the from processes go to models now we have new model open the drop down menu the model is called radial open again and this model has skeleton faults horizon edges intersections and others we can open the skeleton tick the skeleton and we have top mid and base skeleton 
Okay. If we untick the polygon, we can only see the skeleton. If we untick the skeleton, we can see the polygons. Okay. So we can also enable the axis. So we have the polygon and the skeleton. Okay. Untick the polygon and we can. Okay. And then we go to 3D window, show the skeleton, the polygon, uncheck the polygon. And then we can move like this one so we can see the skeleton. Okay, you see the top skeleton, mid skeleton, and base skeleton. This will give this will give the structure of our model. Okay, you can also toggle background to to better show this visualization. Okay, and then we want to make layer. So to make layer, we need to first construct the horizon. But before creating the horizon, we need to make the surfaces first. Okay, the surface will follow the skeleton. So we can right click on the skeleton and then convert to surface. This will convert the skeleton to make surfaces. So here we have in our input skeletons from radial. This is the surface. Okay, 